on the eastern edge of the Democratic Republic of the Congo is a world treasure, Virunga National Park. It was here in 2014 that three children from a nearby village wandered into the park jungle to play. A troop of chimpanzees that had been under attack and whose habitat had been cut down attacked the children. Only one child would be found alive, six-year-old Dunia Sibomana. Dunia lost his younger brother and a cousin in the attack. But even survival came with a cost. The first time I saw my face, I don't know, it was shocking. I was being called names and I was just being mistreated. He had become terribly isolated, terribly rejected by his age group and by his community around him. His mother had died. Um, his father was unemployed. And so he was effectively living on the street. But hope and help were on the way. In December 2015, Baranga Park Chief Warden Emmanuel Dumarod helped arrange for Dunia to become part of a New York-based nonprofit surgical care program. Dunia spoke only Swahili and left behind his father and older brother. Yeah. He was missing his upper, lower lip, a lot of facial musculature, part of his cheek, part of his ear had been bitten off and he had lost his uh, left middle finger from a bite wound as well. It's been 15 surgeries. No doubt he's gonna need more surgeries as he gets older. We walk. Dunia's surgical needs kept him in the United States and with the help of multiple foster families, he learned English the end. Oh, and a new country. Be careful, remember you're going down the hill. Later, at the urging of a mutual friend, Dunia met Long Beach High School assistant wrestling coach Miguel Rodriguez and his then fiance, Marissa Carucci. The encounter would change all of their lives. I didn't know what to expect. He looked different. You know, he was hyper, but he was cute. 50, 60 staples in his face, hundreds of stitches. Not one complaint, never ever complain about anything. The first time I saw Dunia, I just instantly fell in love. We didn't know what the future was going to hold, but I knew that he was going to be a part of this family. By the summer of 2017, Miguel and Marissa had married and would soon become the fourth foster family to care for Dunia. It wasn't long before Dunia became acquainted with another member of the Rodriguez household, wrestling. Me being one of the wrestling coaches, I think that he helped him fall in love with the sport. Miguel told me that I was good at the sport and I should keep doing it. So we started doing like little youth tournaments and I was getting better and better. Once he found wrestling, he found his confidence. His self-esteem began to grow. He started walking differently and he started smiling differently. Dunia was a wrestling revelation. As an eighth grader, he qualified for the 2022 New York High School State Championships. I don't think anyone in the beginning of the year expected it, but he wound up winning the state title, which is really unheard of for a kid that had his level of experience. He's ready. He wants that repeat. Wrestling fans, let's make some noise for the most exciting round of wrestling of the year. Try to keep it close. You're going to go up there and really turn it up on him. There you go. There you go. Get up. Hit it. Keep coming. Short time. Short time. Hey, good stuff. That's the way you want to solve it. Holy shit, you look good. Your championship semifinals start now. Returning New York State champion and number one seed from Long Beach, Section 8, Dania 
Sibomana. Go to work, baby, let's go. All you deep. Short time, short time. There you go, there you go. Shake your level, shake your head. There you Good go. job. That's it, yes! One. He's coming, be ready. With less than 30 seconds separating him from advancing to the championship final, Dania leads one to no, nothing. Give up that one. And then. No, 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 no! His opponent executes a takedown for the deciding two points. And your winner on mat number eight, Luke Santriano, Valley Central, section nine. Victory comes in many forms. Love you. Great kid, you work hard, and this is just gonna build you up. That's who you are. For Dania, there is no dishonor, only pride in his third place finish. Victory is surviving the echoes of your past. I see just a normal kid. The scars, the face, the arm, the legs. Nobody sees that anymore. We don't see it. Victory is cherishing your present and your future. I see a kid that has gone through a lot. Now I'm still there. I see him as a hero, a champion, someone who came through a lot of adversity. And I see a fighter. I see a survivor. I see a miracle, that's what I see.